Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We've got another real cool video, just a little fun fact. Uh, it's a, a tab we have on our website where we do a different uh, kind of what is and what we call fun facts about beer. This one is pretty cool. So, um, there's a new brewery. It's called 21st Amendment Brewery. And unfortunately and sadly, I did not know what the 21st Amendment was on the United States Constitution. Not that everybody can quote all of the... Uh, constitutional amendments, but uh, I didn't know what the 21st one was, and I knew that this brewery, which by the way, we've got some reviews coming up with these with these beers that are they're absolutely phenomenal, um, I knew there had to be something to do with, what does the 21st Amendment have to do with beer? Well, I'm going to tell you. The 21st Amendment of the United States Constitution repealed the 8th Amendment which had a mandated nationwide prohibition of alcohol. It was later ratified on December 5th of 1993. Uh, basically what it is, it says, the, eight, the Eighth Amendment in the Constitution ushered in a short period of time known as Prohibition, which, as you know, or if you don't know, Prohibition was when uh, basically the United States of America said, you cannot distribute or sell alcohol. It was considered to be illegal to uh, sell and to possess these liquids known as alcoholic beverages. Uh, so basically on December 5th of 19, 1933, the 21st Amendment uh, oh, <coughs> excuse me, eventually overruled the 8th Amendment, which said that the sale and distribution of alcohol is now legal within the United States. So... 21st Amendment, it allows you and I and all of your friends that enjoy um, micro beers, any alcohol liquid to be sold and distributed in the United States. So there you go. That's what the 21st Amendment has to do with beer. Hope that was fun. Thanks for watching microbeerreviews.com. See you again.